I think uh, for somebody who lives in the developing world, they will be uh, eating more nutritious meals, having a more balanced meal, not just having corn off of their farm, but having fruits and vegetables and all the things they need, whether it's a child or an adult, they'll be getting the caloric intake they need. They'll be participating in markets, not just selling at their farm, but going into market to sell their goods. They'll know the price back in their rural area on their phone of what the crop price is at market, so they know whether it's worth going into the market. They'll have more income. I think as well, they'll be able to have more of their children in school, not just their sons, but their daughters as well, not just in primary school, but in secondary school. And I think you'll see fewer women uh, carrying water in the developing world in 15 years, and I think you'll see more people with a toilet in their home, and that's incredibly transformative because then there's less disease in their home and in their community. Gender inequality is deeply important in the world. And I think we need to make sure that girls have the chance to uh, have a healthy life, participate in decision making, and ultimately in economic opportunity. And one way to do that is to invest in education. Because if you invest in education, not only does a girl, if she stays in school, she gets married later, she has fewer children, her child is twice as likely to make it to their fifth birthday, and she'll send her daughter to school. That has a transformative effect, not just for that girl, but for her entire family, for how she raises the next generation. We see it time and again. So getting girls in and through quality secondary education is totally important in the world.